A very good evening to all. It's children's bedtime tragedy with let emotions speak. I will tell you today a fun fact about Cheetah at the end of the story. So today's story is The Frog Prince. There was once a king who had but one daughter. Being his only child, she wanted for nothing. She had a nursery full of toys, a pony to ride, and a wardrobe bursting with pretty dresses. But for all this, the princess was lonely. How I wish I had someone to play with, she sighed. The princess's favorite toy was a beautiful golden ball. Every day she would play with her ball in the palace garden. When she threw the ball up in the air, it seemed to take off its own accord and touch the clouds before landing in the princess's hands again. One windy day, the princess was playing in the garden as usual. She threw her golden ball high into the air, but instead of returning to her hands, the wind blew the ball into the fish pond. The princess ran to the pond, but to her dismay, the ball had sunk right to the bottom. Whatever shall I do? wailed the girl. Now I have lost my favorite toy. And she sat down beside the pond and cried. All at once she heard a loud plop, and a green large frog landed on the grass beside her. You go away, you nasty thing! screamed the princess. To her astonishment, the frog spoke to her. I heard you cry, he said in a gentle voice, and I wondered what the matter was. Can I help you in any way? Why, yes, exclaimed the princess. Once she had got over the shock of being addressed by a frog, my ball has sunk to the bottom of the pond. Would you fish it for me, please? Of course I will, replied the frog. But in return, what will you give me if I do? You can have my jewels, my finest clothes, and even my crown if you find my ball, said the princess hastily, for she was truly eager to get her favorite toy back. I don't want your jewels, your clothes, or your crown, replied the frog. I would like to be your friend. I want to return with you to the palace and eat from your golden plate and sip from your golden cup. At night, I want to sleep on a cushion made of silk next to your bed, and I want you to kiss me good night before I go to sleep too. I promise, all you ask, said the girl, if only you will find my golden ball. Remember what you have promised, said the frog. As he dived deep into the pond, at last he surfaced again with the ball and threw it on the grass beside the princess. She was so overjoyed, she forgot all about thanking the frog, let alone her promise, and ran all the way back to the palace. That evening, the king, the queen, and the princess were having dinner in the great hall of the palace when a courtier approached the king and said, Your Majesty, there is a frog at the door who says the princess has promised to share her dinner with him. Is that true? demanded the king, turning to the princess and looking rather angry. Yes, it is, said the princess in a small voice, and she told her father the whole story. When a promise is made, it must be kept, my girl, said the king. You must ask the frog to dine with you. Just then, the frog hopped into the great hall and ran to where the princess was sitting. With a great leap, he was up on the table beside her. She stifled a scream. You promised to let me eat from your golden plate, said the frog, tucking into the princess's food. The princess felt quite sick and pushed the plate away from her. Then to her horror, the frog dipped his long tongue into her golden cup and drank every drop. It's what you promised, he reminded her. When he had finished, the frog stretched his long green limbs yawned and said, Now I feel quite sleepy. Please take me to your room. Do I have to? The prince pleaded with her father. Yes, you do, said the king sternly. The frog helped you when you were in need. You made a promise to him. 
So the princess carried the frog to her bedroom, but as they reached the door, she said, "My bedroom is very warm. I'm sure you'd be more comfortable out here where it's cool." But as she opened the bedroom door, the frog leaped from her hand and landed on her bed. "You promised that I could sleep on a silk cushion next to your bed," said the frog. "Yes, yes, of course," said the princess. looking with horror at the froggy footprints on her clean white sheets she called to her maid to bring a cushion the frog jumped on the cushion and looked as though he was going to sleep good thought the princess he's forgotten about my final promise but just as she was about to get into bed he opened his eyes and said what about my good night kiss oh i forgot thought the princess as she closed her eyes and pursed her lips towards the frog's cold and clammy face and kissed him open your eyes said a voice that didn't sound a bit like the frog's she opened her eyes and there standing before her was a prince the princess stood there in dumbstruck amazement thank you said the prince you have broken a spell cast upon me by a wicked witch She turned me into a frog and said the spell would only be broken if a princess would eat with me sleep beside me and kiss me They ran to tell the king what had happened He was delighted and said you may live in the palace from now on for my daughter needs a friend and indeed the prince and princess became the best of friends and she was never alone again He taught her to play football with a golden ball and she taught him to ride a pony one day many years later they were married and had lots of children and do you know their children were particularly good at leapfrog i hope you enjoyed the story now some fun fact about the cheetah a cheetah can accelerate faster than a race car and do you know the cheetah cannot roar it's a wild wild cat but still it cannot roar see you tomorrow with another great story do not forget to like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you